Stephen King once said, monsters are real and ghosts are real too. They live within us and sometimes they win. Just one of the prolific writer's many themes explores the inherent evil inside us and what horrors people are capable of. This is Stephen King season. Tonight comes the 2009 adaptation of his chilling short story originally published in 1977, Children of the Corn. Exploring the disturbing taboo subjects of religious hysteria and murderous children, the film takes us to a small farming town in Nebraska. A ghost town where children rule and adults are sacrificed in the name of a pagan demonic spirit. A young couple get caught up in this rural nightmare when they accidentally run over a small boy. Will they too suffer the corn crucifixion or escape the hateful children and their bloodthirsty God? Mass religious hysteria, where a group of people are whipped up into a frenzy by a charismatic leader, is clearly a theme that interests King. It's little surprise that King was inspired to write stories such as Children of the Corn, The Mist and Carrie by the heinous murders of the Manson family in the late 1960s and the uprising of religious cults in the 1970s. Get ready to meet he who walks behind the rose in the network premiere, Children of the Corn. The following program contains strong language, violence and scenes of a sexual nature.